Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. The October 1980 SAT exam contained the following math question. Which row contains both the square of an integer and the cube of a different integer? You are to select the correct answer from the following five choices. The SAT is supposed to have exactly one correct answer for each problem. However, on this question, the test makers made a mistake. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. Okay, so the test makers intended for there to be exactly one correct answer, which was answer choice B. This contains the number 9, which is the square of the integer 3, and it contains the number 8, which is the cube of a different integer 2. Answer choice C was supposed to be a distraction. While it does contain the number 4, which is the square of the number 2, and the number 8, which is the cube of the number 2, the problem with this answer choice, what they thought the problem was, is that the square and the cube are of the same integer 2. So this was supposed to be a distraction, and about one quarter of the students put this to be the correct answer. However, it was the test makers who made the mistake. When they said you want to have the square of an integer and the cube of a different integer, they forgot that integers can be both positive or negative. So the number 4 is actually the square of a different integer, if you consider negative 2 squared, and the number 8, which is the integer 2 cubed. So answer choice C does contain the square of an integer and the cube of a different integer. So both answer choices B and C are correct answer choices. The test makers admitted their mistake, and they actually awarded the one quarter of the students who put answer choice C, they actually corrected their scores and gave them an extra 10 points. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Press Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.